Next, a first for Cambridge Airport today. Something in the skies that has never been seen or heard in the city before. A fully electric plane. And it doesn't make much noise either. The first passengers were researchers from Cambridge University who are helping to develop greener air travel. And Claire McGlasson joins us from the airport. Good evening, Claire. So, is this the future of air travel then? Well, the teams that are leading the research are certainly hoping that it will be. I think we can safely say we won't be crossing the Atlantic in a battery-powered plane anytime soon. But this is an exciting step, starting small, a very small two-seater aircraft. Quite an experience when I was taken up for a spin myself earlier today. And I was struck by how quiet it was without the combustion engine. Um, very peaceful and look some great views of Cambridge and I'm delighted to be able to introduce you to my pilot Adam. Adam, thanks so much for that and thanks for joining us now. Am I being simplistic if I think of this as my electric car but with wings on it? No, I think that's exactly the way to think about it. We're all very used to seeing electric vehicles on the road and now this is the first generation of electric aircraft and over the next decade we're going to see many more of them. And this is exactly the same as I use it. It is. Home. It's exactly the same. We unplug it. Uh, we close the flap and we're ready to go flying. I'm going to let you pop that down because you're okay. taking off again in a moment, aren't you? Yeah, now, that's I get right. range anxiety on the road. I can't imagine what it's like in the sky. Well, actually, this aircraft gives really accurate information of how much energy the batteries have. And I don't like calling it range anxiety. I prefer calling it range excitement. <laughs> Typical pilot. Now, it's one minute of charge for every one minute in the sky, isn't it? That's right. So we flew for 30 minutes this morning. And it took about 30 minutes to uh, top the aircraft back up to the same level. And the battery will give you 45 minutes in the sky. So yeah. that's sort of Cambridge to Oxford like, or Cambridge like, to Norwich. Like any aircraft, we, we land with a reserve amount of energy or fuel. So we landed with a third of the battery remaining. So 45 minutes plus a third, uh, another 15 minutes or so. And just quickly, what's it like to, to fly as a pilot who's flown many types of planes? Well, I've flown lots of pilots in this electric aircraft, fighter pilots from the Air Force, airline pilots, student pilots, and they're all exactly the same. Once they get airborne, they're smiling. They absolutely love it. I'm going to let you get ready for takeoff now. Um, he's had a busy day. Uh, seven academics taken up today. Uh, they normally given data by Adam, real life data. They were given the real life experience. So from the lab into the air, we caught up with one of them as he touched back on the ground. It's a really great experience and much smooth fl smoother flight than I was like expecting it to be. Uh, and it's really great to actually experience the physical hardware <laughs> behind like electric aviation and at Aviation Impact Accelerator. We've done a lot of work, theoretical work on electric flight and it's really great to actually uh, be here and feel the actual wind and the gravity. Well, these are being used for pilot training, and the good thing is one of the benefits is less air pollution, less noise pollution. So for anyone living near the many airstrips in our region, that could make a difference in future. And in fact, if we... Let's just check with Adam. If he's got clearance to taxi, he can, uh, he can show us how it sounds. Wow. isn't it? Claire, thank you very much. It's I, so silent. Yeah. It's incredible.